about that time for the Midwest music grind. Independent artists shine. It's the Midwest music grind, and it's about that time for the Midwest music grind. Independent artists shine. It's the Midwest music grind. Yes, sir. What's popping, everybody? It's your boy, that boy Max, back once again with the hottest show in the tri-state music region, y'all. My bad. The tri-state Midwest region. It's your boy, that boy Max. And we're right here on the Midwest music grind with the homie today, y'all. And I can't wait because it's been a long time coming. It's 2024, and then you don't know what we got in store for y'all, man. So today right here on WEOA 98.5, y'all, we have the homie in the building, Dog Pound is in the building. What's up, big dog? How we doing today? What's happening? What's happening? How you doing, man? How you been? Good. Good, good. Bro, I know we've been trying to get you down here for a few weeks, man, but you know I'm glad that you down here now, so I'm not even tripping. I know you've been busy, road running, getting everything popping, but I've been definitely keeping an eye on you and what you've been doing, bro. want to say kudos and congrats with all the success that you've had with your music, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know you're familiar with the show and what we got going on with the show, man, so you know how it goes. We start with your past. We're going to the present, and then we're going to talk about your future, what you got coming up, okay? Yeah. You got your homie with you today, man. Who you got with you today, big dog? Uh, it's T- uh, <laughs> Train to go from Giddy Gang. Okay. Big dog, how you doing today, man? You doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing well. Good, good. I'm good, bro. I appreciate you coming down as well, man. For sure, for sure. Sure. Dog Pound, talk to me, man. Where did the name Dog Pound even come from? Let's talk about that. Well, it came from my pops, for real. His name, B-Dog. Okay. So that's what they used to call me when I was coming up. But as I got older, I kind of wanted my own name. So I just took the dog and just added the pound on there. Add the pound on there. Okay, yeah. okay. Now, whenever I think dog pound, I think automatic West Coast, you know, Snoop Dogg and the dog pound out there. But that ain't the case over here in the Midwest, right? No, nah, that ain't the case with me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bro, how long have you been doing music for, man, you would say? I've probably been doing music about 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. So who got you into music? Like, what got you started and everything? Uh, really, probably my Uncle K Fresh. Okay. Shout out Big Fresh. Yes, sir. Keep your head up, big dog. You know, we out here. We got you out here. You already know. Come Especially on, dog pounding and everybody working. You know, know what I'm saying? I think that's where I met y'all. A, a bunch of y'all, man, that are like sure, sprouting sure. out and doing y'all's thing here and there, man. And I love to see it because I love to see y'all working, and man, and what y'all got going. And it's dope. It's really dope, man. And Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just glad to get you down here. But we got some work to do, too, yeah. sometime in the future. Sure, I hope that we sure. can, man. Now, I know during COVID, I, I seen a lot of, like, your videos popping up with, like, Jesse Bitter and, like, a few other people as well, man. Like, how'd y'all link up and everything like that to get, you know uh, what I'm saying, all that stuff going? Well, the video with Jesse, I, I reached out to him. Mm-hmm. Now that when I sent you probably, like, 10 songs. He did the song, like the song that he picked that he wanted to do was the time the video I did with him. and Yeah. It was a decent song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that's the Washington Square, yeah, you Washington know what I'm saying, Square video, Mario. right? What's the name of that song called? Uh, Tom, Tom, by GCS okay. Dog Pound. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I was like, I remember that very, very vividly. You know what yes, I mean? Sir. So, I've definitely been paying attention. I know you've done a lot of music since then, too, as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... Uh, who were some of your influences, man, that actually got you started besides just K-Fresh? Like, who were some of the artists that you listened to growing, you know, well, coming up, I would say, not growing up, but, crum- but coming, coming up? up probably listen to Chief Keef, Gutter, mm-hmm. uh, I probably can't name too many more people than that, for real. Okay. Okay. No, that's enough right there, just to, you know what I'm saying, get everybody familiar with everything, man. So, that's what's up. How would you describe your style of, of, of how you rap and everything? You know what I'm saying? Like, who could we say that you're similar to? I mean, they can say I'm similar to a lot of people, but I got my own style, if you ask me. Okay. Just how I'm feeling that day is how it's going to sound. Exactly. Exactly. And you stay in the studio, correct? Yes, sir. Where you be recording that and stuff, man? Uh, we got a few studios in Evansville now. We probably got like four studios all together, so I'm here and there. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. Uh, can you share the story behind one of your favorite songs and how it came to be? One of my favorite songs I'd probably say is What well, a Day. That's the first uh first thing really got like popping in the city. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Got my name buzzing. How that came about 
really a long story, but you hear me shorten it up yeah, for yeah, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shorten it up for me. Got it. We got it into it. You feel a couple of people and stuff. Made a little song and stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just put a fresh on it. I think fresh in uh OG Fat Fella. Yeah. Yeah, we just got in the got in the uh, studio talking crazy. <laughs> and that just came about like that. Just one night, y'all just all linked up and said, let's 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 knock this record out. Let's knock it out. Let's knock it out. That's what I like to see. Now you said who was your other homie? I know fresh, but who was the other guy? Uh, OG Fat Fella. I'm not familiar with him, man. You got to put me on to him sometime. He's my buddy. We got a lot of songs together. Okay. Cool, cool. So how many projects do you have out total right now? Uh, right now, I got out two albums. Mm-hmm. I got one on the way, probably a drop, probably uh, February 14th, Valentine's Day or something like that. Mm-hmm. A lot of videos coming, a lot of videos out already. Yep. Okay. Who are uh who the who were the the latest cameramen that you've been working with? Give me like two of them. Uh, latest cameraman I've been working with. I like uh, to catch up and do my homework, do my research. EB and shot it. Yeah, shout out EB going crazy yeah, in the city. EB and uh Bailey Ross out in Madisonville. Yeah, Bailey been going for a minute too. Yes, shout sir. out Bailey Ross as well. I gotta get him in here, man. I've been talking to him a little bit on the gram, but I talked to him over the years, man. I, I still gotta get with Bailey, man. But yeah, yeah, I know he does great work. All the cameramen do great work, man. I want to make sure you get with Trent too, man. For sure, for sure. Yeah, Sersky. Okay. Um, let me see here, bro. Uh, how do you approach your creative process, man, when you're in the studio and you're about to write a track? Well, I come at it uh really all types of way. Like I be in the studio with people nine times out of ten. I really don't record by myself too often. Mm-hmm. So I really uh, pick up the vibe off them, or they'll pick up a vibe off me. It just, you feel me, it's the vibe thing. Bounce back studio. and forth and kind of yeah. like just come yeah, up with like some brainstorming be, and everything. It's kind of vibe out to the song. What kind of beat you like anyway? Uh, anything King Walker send me. Yep. Now, Walker been going crazy. Now, yes, real quick, let's pause right here because I want to shout out King Walker and his Let's Go single with Key Glock. Right now going crazy. Love that record, man. But I know he's in the city, in and out the city. And the fact that you got some stuff from me, man, and uh, Two Nine got some stuff from me, and King or uh, Good Kid Lamb got some stuff from me. I'm glad that, to see him working with the, you know, what I'm saying the artists in the city and the bigger artists outside the city, man. So That's kudos true. to him. I know y'all got. You, do you have like a whole project coming with him, or? I mean, we we working on it, kind of something like that. I mean, we really ain't got into the details about it, but mm-hmm. yeah, it's gonna happen for sure. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Here's a real good question, bro. How do you handle criticism when people, when you get done with, with like tracks and you want to like, you know, get opinions and want to see what people think of the record? You got a lot of me. I just want to keep it 100 with me. You like it or you don't. Or you don't. It's that simple. Okay. Okay. That's what's up, man. That is what's up. Yes, sir. So, uh, performances. Have you done any live performances as of late? Uh, I just did one Saturday. Okay. How'd that go? And where was it at? And what was the event? Uh, we did, I think the last show we did was Saturday at the uh, Orange Bro. It was a EB show. That, uh, EB shot at the cameraman. He did a little show out of Orange Bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I slid and uh, did, a little, uh, did a little performance with Rome the Shooter. Okay, now Rome was in here last year. Yeah. Shout out Big Rome, you already know. Uh, what song did y'all do? Uh, back to Back. Back to Back, okay. Okay. Now, how'd that record come, to, uh, come together with y'all? That's my boy. We just be kicking it, chopping it up mm-hmm. in the studio. It's perfect timing. He already had his uh his part down. So when I came in, I like how, how he came on the song, and I just finished it up. Okay. Now, that's what I like to hear right there. So the performance went good as well, too, as well? Where was I, it at? Uh, I can't think of the name. But I know there's, like, Milligan's uh, and, like, uh, Shiloh's and I think, what's it called, Banky's or something? I think, yeah, I think it was Banky's. Banky's, okay. Yeah. Turned out was pretty good, though? Yeah, it was real cool. Good, good. That's what I like to hear, man. I like to see people cross the bridge, man, and do some stuff over there. Do you have anything over there with any other artists across the bridge, like in, like, Owensboro, Henderson? Uh, I don't think so. Not at the moment. There's some artists over there, man. You probably want to just see what's up with, tap in with a little bit, you know what I mean, and see what they got going as well, you know, to have the whole tri-state connected. Yeah, sir, Keep that thing going, man. What's your man's got coming? You got you got some stuff coming too, big dog? Mm-hmm. I, I be posting little snippets, having people react to them, which ones they like. I'm going to throw them on the tape. Probably drop, feel like March or something. You know what I'm yeah. Saying? Trying to come with 
Okay. Okay. That's what I like to hear right there. Okay, so he got him coming. Is now is it just you and your camp? Do you have a camp, a label? Are you signed to a label? I got my own label, the Cookie Slappers. Okay. And how do you are you are y'all looking for artists out there? Like like talk to me and talk to them. No, nah, we ain't looking for no artists at the moment right now. We trying to build a name ourselves, but yep. yeah, I got I got like four artists already. Okay. Okay, and you and you said the the name of the label is called Good Cookie Slappers. Yeah, GCS. I like Good that. Cookie I like slappers. that. I like that. Now, how'd you come up with that? We was all in the studio one day. Yeah. This is after the videos and stuff was really popping, and we figured out we need a new name because, like, Cheddar Brain was still going on, but Fresh was already going. So right. So like so is this when y'all like? Kind of separated the two? Yeah. Okay, see, now I'm getting more of the story because, you know, I'm still thinking it's Cheddar Brain as the head and then it's, like, whatever else under that. Uh, but it's if it's definitely not... still, like, Cheddar Brain's the head. Guaranteed, okay. That's, okay. That's, that's never going to stop. It's still Cheddar Brain. But we had to make our own thing when Fresh got it. What happened with him, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we had to make our own thing. And we came up with a couple of names before that. What was a few of the names that, that you had came up with before you got to GCS? Uh, we was... Uh, Grind together, shine together with okay. uh, Lante. Shout out, cuz Lante. Yeah, yeah. I think we was uh. Y'all really can't take it too easy. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's probably it's been a be minute. Like I already know. Like I just wanted to see what some of the other uh names that you have, man, because I like going back to get people's history on things. You know what I mean? Just to have it. Uh, okay. So, in what ways do you stay current with trims in the rack? trends in the rap industry and how do you balance staying true to yourself i mean we, we really don't do too much of the following the trends like it might be a song popping we might remix it or something like that but other than that we really don't look up to nobody or care too much about no trends that's going on we try to set our own trends around here mm-hmm. yeah yes sir yes sir and what advice would you be able to give to the aspiring rappers looking to make their mark in the industry man Keep going, don't stop. You feel me? Anybody can make it. You just gotta be dedicated and grind. Mm-hmm. And I've watched y'all dedicate yourselves and grind for a long time. That's why I'm glad to have you up here, man, and see that you're still going, man. So kudos to what you got going, man. And that's what I like to hear. So you on everything, right? What's some of your socials? Give me your socials. Uh GCS Dog Pound on everything and good cookie slappers on everything. It don't matter what that's it is. It's IG, YouTube, Facebook, yes, sir, Snap. anything. Everything. We, we everywhere. It's, it's all the same thing. GCS Dog Pound. GCS Dog you Pound. You want the music? Good cookie slappers. GCS Dog Pound. Okay. Now, what song do you have that you brought up here for us today? The song, I ain't even going to lie. The song that I uh, supposed to bring up here, I ain't even finished it yet. I still got some finishing touches to put on it. But. Well, by the time that, you know what I'm saying, they hear it and they play it after this right here, after, after this interview, they're going to they gonna be able to check it out. What's it called? I really want to name it uh, January 14th. Okay. January 14th. Yeah. All right. And how did this record come about, man? Is it just you? That's me. Yeah, it's just my birthday. Okay. That's what I like to hear right there. So, okay, it's January 14th. About it. My bad. What did you say? Put a whole life story together about it. Okay. So, you got, so it just got to be right. I feel you. Yeah. Okay. Well, make sure that you know, saying that you get that thing right and shoot it to me so everybody can check it out, man. I'm I'm excited to check out the record, man. Saturday for sure. All right. Well, that's what's up, man. I appreciate you coming down and bringing your homie with you, man, and everything. I'm hoping to get with you in the future, bro, and see what we got going and everything, bro. And and you know, we guys, we just got some good stuff going right now, man. You got some some upcoming performances coming and everything. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. We got a lot of stuff going on. We probably uh. Yeah, we probably will put a couple shows together ourselves around the city in the tri-state area and here in the future. All right. So, so they, they, they need to reach out to you, right? Yes, sir. All right. Well, when y'all see them flyers and stuff online, don't be afraid to hit up Dog Pound on there. He's on there going crazy. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? So, bro, I appreciate you coming in. Rocking with me, bro. I appreciate you, too. Yeah, man. We're going to get into this record, y'all. Y'all know what's going on, man. It's your boy, that boy Max in the building with Dog Pound. The homie behind the camera, Trent Smalls, in the building, y'all, for the Midwest Music Grind, right here on 98.5 FM WEOA. And we'll see y'all next week. Peace. It's about that time for the Midwest Music Grind. Independent artists shine. It's the Midwest Music.
music grind and it's about that time for the midwest music grind independent artists shine it's the midwest music